We are now in position inside the rehabilitation center. From here, we have an interior view of Dr. Ruddock's office. We are then greeted with anger storming into the room and then standing in one place. There in front of her, sat behind his desk, was Dr. Ruddock, a therapist dressed as a secondary school geography teacher, wearing a navy blue suit with, a with elbow patches, and Anger wearing her normal pump style clothing. Hello, Anger. I'm Dr. Ruddock. Please, have a seat. The therapist gestures his hand to the large, comfortable seat and sits down. I'd like to get this over with. The sooner, the better. That's fine. No one's forcing you to stir. You don't have to talk to me. In fact, it'll make my love it'll make my job a whole lot easier. So what's up with looking like a secondary school geography teacher, Dr. Ruddick? I won't force you to say a word. Your friend gave you an opportunity. This is your chance to show me what you did to your friend isn't a common occurrence. It's not, and he damn well deserved it. I bet he did. He probably deserved more. Right? Anger pulls up a chair and sits down. He's just so cocky and selfish. Always trying to get me more for himself instead of others. He just... He just needed a quick reminder whom he was speaking to, right? He knows how I am. That's why he acts like that, to get under my skin. Well, how about you try looking at it from another perspective? It can't just be re retaliating with such serious actions I never hurt anyone, unless provoked. And he seriously provoked me. What I mean is you cannot break someone's arm without repercussions. You got off very lucky this time. What I suggest is that you try some meditation and calm your inner fury. Yeah, well, no chance.